shepherds. Shepherds who were watching the lambs for use as sacrifices in the temple. Did you ever wonder why he showed up to shepherds? I mean, why didn't he go to carpenters or fishermen? I mean, he seemed to have a propensity for fishermen, right? He called a lot of them. Why did he show up to shepherds? What's interesting, the, the sheep raising business was primarily associated with the temple. And so those men spent their life raising spotless lambs. And they were very careful with their lambs because they wanted them to qualify for sacrificial use. And that was really a part of their life. They thought a lot about it. And they saw families come and take those lambs and, and hold them and they take them into their homes because that's what you're supposed to do at Passover and, and get attached to the lamb and you hold it in your house and the kids would pet it and it would become a loved member of the family and then you take it and kill it for your family's sin. And so that was really on their minds. And so to that group of people, the angels came and announced the Lamb of God that you are getting just pictures of. I mean, you spent your whole life growing pictures and now the real one has come. And that's why they just rushed over there. They wanted to see it. They wanted to see what God was doing because their life was revolving around the sacrifices of the temple. And the great news was that the lamb to end all sacrifices had appeared. And then there's a European, uh, you never hear about this nowadays, but Christmas pie was an old tradition that uses a mince pie with a variety of spices to remember the spices of the Magi. And for centuries, it was made in a manger shape. In other words, they made it look like a boat. Uh, kind of a manger kind of deal, and that's what they made their Christmas pie in. Mm-hmm.